hello welcome back to tarot time with andy this is a teaching video of all the sixes yeah i missed my video yesterday <laughs> i'm getting kind of lazy i guess geez i gotta stop that get so busy okay you guys so today is the sixes so let's start with the six of pentacles six of pentacles right here there we go so that right there is that six of pentacles six of pentacles upright it's sort of a it's considered a mercy card uh, it's giving and receiving help. As you can see, he's giving, the others are receiving. And that is the charity gifts generosity. So you might want to put on your card, your um, Clio deck, uh, put on, um, just put on giving and receiving. That would be how I usually call it. I just say giving and receiving. So then you know basically based on the question if they're actually giving or receiving. So that's pretty much the key words that I use. Um, but it is about charity, gifts, generosity. Uh, in the reverse position, it's greed, it's withholding, and it's refusing to help. Pretty easy, right? Uh, and the scales that you see here, the scale that he's holding in his hand, is the scales of justice. So helping out thy neighbor, basically. So that is that, pretty simple stuff. Uh, let's go for the Six of Swords now. There is the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is upright, is quiet passage through hardships. Um, I like to coin this card as getting out of stormy waters. That's usually how I say it. I say, oh, getting out of stormy waters uh, because they went through a rough time and they're now getting out of it. Uh, it's, a ch it's a change card. It's also a travel card. They're leaving. Uh, when I do the Markles, uh, the Harkles, <laughs> I will say that this is, this is when they, this is, I get this card all the time when they, when they left the UK. So this is really uh, someone who's just wanting a change. And so it is choppy waters there. Uh, you could see some choppy waters in the, right here. The choppy waters is movement. And the fairy guy here represents uh, basically you're not alone. You're not alone. You could see trees in the background, so they want to go someplace where maybe they can grow. The skies are gray, so things haven't been so well, so they're trying to get out. Uh, no, there's not the blue skies there. And it's, it, is, it, it is somewhat emotional, too, because we've got water here. So there is some emotion involved, as well as using intellect and um, taking action, uh, a very intentional action with the sword card. So that's kind of how you would see that. And sixes all represent trying to g gain harmony. So all of, all of sixes are trying to get that harmony, as well as with the six of pentacles, you know, trying to gain harmony and balance with the scale. Same with these people, even though they're leaving and getting out of choppy waters and going, leaving the gray skies behind, uh, they're making a decision to try and chase harmony. So they're, they're looking for harmony. All sixes are harmony. So that is it. In reverse, this is being stuck, not being able to get out of choppy waters. So it's pretty self-explanatory. And they, it also, since it is a travel card, uh, they would have travel problems. So if someone's, it's about, uh, you know, I going on vacation. If it's a vacation spread, you would know that the, the vacation uh, is going to run into some big troubles there in that position. So that is the uh, Six of Swords card. Now let's go to uh, the Six of Wands. Six of Wands, that is my victory card. So that is winning. That's when someone's winning the game, the game of life. It's victory ahead. It's optimistic. It's an inspirational leader. And he has two winning things on his head. He's got one on his head and one here. So that's a, a total victory. That's like a double win right there. And so that, those reefs represent winning. Uh, and then we have here the horse that he's sitting on represents action. So upright, it is victory, optimistic, inspirational leader. It is a fire card, fire energy. And in reverse, this is losing. Losing, feeling humiliated. Uh, it is also considered betrayed by your peers and this person has enemies. So, and that is it with that card. So that's pretty easy. And the last card, Six of Cups. That is my nostalgia card. Uh, I usually always call it nostalgia. Uh, you can also call it, refer it to as um, gifts coming in. Uh, it's also friendship card. Uh, it's also considered uh, don't forget the path that led you here. Um, so it's, it's um, 
But I will say this, um, with the Biddy Tarot, they say when you see this card, sometimes it can mean that uh, it's not a good idea to be nostalgia. Uh, nostalgic can cause uh, uh, depression anxiety and may not be a good idea to go back into nostalgia mode uh, because that's kind of what happens when people become very nostalgic they can get sad so there is that element to the card as well there can be a lot of sadness with it uh, when people are kind of living in the past so you might get that kind of reaction uh, depending on the question that someone could be living in the past when you pull this card uh, that's you know not able to maybe push forward and live in the in the present moment uh, constantly living in the past. So you might see that in a spread. Uh, the house in the background uh, represents security. Um, excuse me, no. <laughs> yes, security, yes, security. And then this here, where is it? There is a watchman. You can barely see him. He's right here in the very corner of the card here. There's a guy that's kind of like tending the garden or whatever. And uh, this here is, uh, he is, he's, that's protection. He's protecting the garden. He's protecting. And the blooms you see that sh the red, red caped, red and blue caped girl is giving, the blooms and the blossoms represent seeds of growth. Uh, everything's growing and blossoming. Uh, it's giving. So there's, there's, there's a lot of kind of a lot of meanings to this card. Um, but once again, it's about trying to gain harmony because all sixes are harmony. And this card is a hope card. It's referred to also as a card of hope. So it's hope, it's nostalgia, it's, um, you know, enjoy the moment. Uh, it can represent security, uh, protection, seeds of growth. It can also represent sadness if it's in the right position with questioning. Sadness and depression because a person cannot cannot live in the current current uh, state of mind. So that is something to think about when you pull this card. So that is that. And oh, did I do reverse? In reverse, Six of Cups reverse is basically, uh, you know, not feeling nostalgic, uh, you know, forgetting your path, uh, not, not enjoying the moment, not able to, uh, not able to push forward, not smelling the roses, no growth, uh, not feeling safe. So that is how that would be in the reverse. So if you just take all the upright and just reverse it, find the words that work for you. You don't have to use my words here. So that is that. Um, so it is upright, it's generosity. In reverse, there's lack of generosity with that. Uh, let's get some, I want to talk about the sixes, all the various sixes, the meanings of sixes. So different words for sixes I have here also is uh, sixes represent, they tend to be grateful, hopeful, appreciated, and loving. Um, they tend to be social concerns. They want harmony for the generations. Uh, they tend to want recognition, uh, assistance, perfection, success, accomplishment, helping, equalization, reflection, balance, overcome, uh, taking opportunities for success, taking responsibility, it's having sympathy, uh, rep uh, exchange of energies, knowledge, reunions, unions. Uh, so those are some of the words that are associated with sixes also. So that is the sixes, and I have not gotten my new deck yet. So next week, do sevens. I will do sevens. I should probably do sevens and eights and then do nines and tens. I think I'm going to try and accelerate this a little bit because I do still need to do my knights, pages, kings, and queens. And then I am going to do uh, the bicycle deck. I will do a full video on the bicycle deck. Um, and then I might even do some Lenormand decks um, and see if you guys are interested in the Lenormand decks. We can cover the Lenormand decks because I really do like the Lenormand decks. I have Under the Roses and then I have the classic one. So we can start hitting up some other decks too. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.